Library Kitchen. I'm a reference librarian for the Worcester branch and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious no-bake treat with just three ingredients and we are going to make Oreo truffles. So this is always a hit at get-togethers and like I said you only need a couple of ingredients. So first we need of course our Oreos. I'm actually going to use the full Oreo package. We need eight ounces of cream cheese, preferably softened, so let it sit out of the refrigerator for, you know, about 20 minutes. And then you also want about 16 ounces of chocolate. Um, this could be melting chocolate, uh, this could be white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, kind of whatever you're feeling. So the first thing we want to do is place our Oreos in our other item that we need, and that is a food processor. Uh, in addition to a food processor, you're also going to need a baking sheet and parchment paper to set your truffles on and uh, space in your refrigerator. So let's pulse our Oreo cookies until they are crumbs. And once they're all crumbs, we're gonna add them to our large bowl. Now my My food processor is kind of little, so I'm going to do this in batches. I've transferred all of my Oreo crumbs to this bowl. And now I'm going to add our uh, cream cheese and mix this up until it's well combined. So once you're well combined, it'll be really thick and kind of hard to stir. And now what we're going to do is put some parchment paper on a baking sheet. And we're going to scoop our truffles into one inch balls. And then we're gonna put them on the baking sheet and freeze it for about 15 minutes. Now I am using a cookie scoop, um, but you can also easily roll these by hand. And here is our little cookie. So this ended up making about 48 uh, little truffle balls. They're not perfect, but what I'm going to do next is stick them in the freezer for 15 minutes. And this is just gonna make things a whole lot easier to work with and less sticky uh, when I come back for our next steps. So I will see you in 15 minutes. So I've just taken my truffles out of the freezer. And the next thing I wanna do is I melted about 12 ounces of white chocolate and I'm going to dip them in and then uh, you know, shake off any extra chocolate that comes with it. That one's not quite as pretty. <laughs> And if you want, before the chocolate hardens, you could, uh, you know, zhuzh them up with some sprinkles. These are green and white, which I thought could be fun for St. Patrick's Day. Now this one has already hardened. So if you just break off that extra and you will see a fun little two bite truffle, not quite one bite. Now, once I'm done putting the white chocolate on top, what I'm going, or over the entire truffle, uh, what you're going to want to do is put them in the refrigerator about an hour before you eat them. And then of course, you definitely want to eat them. And we're 
are able to store them in the refrigerator for um, actually up to two weeks uh, and um, they'll still be good in an airtight container. So there are lots of different ways that you can decorate your truffles. Some uh, you saw me do with um, just the white chocolate and some sprinkles, but then some, uh, like this one, I sprinkled some of my leftover cookie crumbs on top. Some I did a couple of different colors with like little uh, swirls of chocolate. So, you know, make these however you would like to style them. Now I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator for an hour and then after that we can eat them and I am excited uh, to share these with uh, my coworkers. Thank you for joining me for Library Kitchen and if you make some Oreo truffles, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for joining me.